small, close range, scrappy fights. Very stock standard LPL. And there is the Aatrox that we talked about for Zoom. We know he needed like a high AD threat in the top lane. This one isn't getting spotted by the ward that JD Gaming put down. So they really don't have eight minute mark. They're gonna start the Herald right away. And all 10 members on the Rift are heading over. Bu Bu takes some first shots, but maybe Zoom is the one that's actually overextended right here. The Ornhorn does come down. Is Zoom gonna get away from this? No, he falls down to the Samira. Newer. You do have the uh, the Leandries uh, anguish as well. We've I'm also... gonna have to cut you off as Yagao is found out in the river. Flashes instantly. We didn't really expect either of these junglers to play Pantheon. We didn't see it out of Kanavi. <laughs> great yeah. job at just controlling the bot side river as a whole. We've seen Zika uh -oh. hovering. Zika! Lumao actually found out right here. Meteor is going to be right next to the play. Lumao does use his exhaust, but can he fight for this? They don't have the Gragas cask up, and maybe just saying, hey, we don't need this. Man push against a two man coming in for BLG. The tower should be unsalvageable, and it's just Massive a question. Depending on the formation of the fight, aiming feeling really strong going into this one. We finally see Yagao pop his ultimate. Destiny is going to go straight into the back line, but Biu Biu is there to cut the stun off. Aiming is still alive somehow through all of this, and Lumao goes down. They finally find the kill onto Aiming in the back line. Zoom is basically untouched right here. Nobody can deal with this Aatrox, but World Ender is going to try and chase Meteor down. The first splash doesn't hit. Right play by the likes of Yagao, just sniping out Aiming throughout those layers of defenses that BLG were able to. Yeah, and we see BLG going for Siege. Interesting to note that we see uh, Loken go for I the like Gale Force. It's a good item for snowballing and finding priority targets when that's your own the comp to where... Oh, I'm gonna have to cut you off. Lumao steps a little bit. BLG trying to take hold of this advantage and find even more picks. They do catch out Yagao. Yagao Ooh. has to pop his perfect timing right there, and it doesn't look like he's gonna be able to get out of this one. This is gonna lead BLG straight towards the Baron, and once again, we're gonna see... Professors. And JDG not in a good position. Zika is trying to zone out the likes of Kanavi. He does still have his flash, so can't possibly go into the Baron Pit. Never mind, they go over the wall just to find him, make sure that they're gonna take down this Baron, but it's still alive, it's still counting low. And who's actually gonna take this Baron down? Oh, Meteor still comes over the wall to take that away. It was almost disaster, but wait a minute. It still might be a disaster for BLG because Zoom is incoming. He is in World Ender form and he is killing every single member of BLG. This is gonna be very close to an ace right now. Bubu -Bu is still caught on the wrong side of the map. And what do you know? BLG, after finding two picks, after BLG securing- We can't fight this guy, jump over the pit to find the rest of the kills, but Aatrox still too strong. You talk about the Gore Drinker, Steric, Skage, over pretty much nothing right now. It will be potentially a Scuttle Crab for Meteor, but a lot of ultimates Super are aggressive now. into the entire front line of BLG, and he's getting away with it so beautifully. Look, he's 3v1 in the mid lane, and he doesn't have a care in the world because he is that Aatrox. We do see Yagao coming in potentially for the flank, but Zoom is still going in. They're going to go for the back line. Kanavi does get knocked back, but he's going to be able to walk out of this one just okay. And look at Amy. He's going in, trying to challenge Zoom, but Zoom is just healing way too much HP. He's pretty much playing a 1v4 on the front side and coming out ahead. How is this possible? There is Grievous Wound on this roster, but Zoom just doesn't care. The stair Gauge comes in, and with those Bloodlust stacks, he is still over. 50% HP, Aiming has thrown everything at this man, but he's getting no results whatsoever. And on the other side of the map, it is just a clean house situation for Loken. JD Gaming take the team fight without losing a single member. Wow. Yeah, and JD can just attack the whole map now. They could take Dragon, mid lane turret, and Baron at the same time. You, you said it right there, Baron. They should very easily be able to turn to Dragon after this. Throw the two Ocean Drakes on top of that. Score BLG at this point. What do you think BLG can do right now? Because in that team fight, it was a 3v1. I'm sorry, I have to cut myself off right here, but Zoom finds yeah, another vision down for his team, but isn't going to find anything. We see a teleport by Yagao just to push JD away. Gaming, and uh, it's just amazing to see how they're able to turn a game that seems so much in the favor of BLG. They are going to try to find a pick onto Yagao. He does blow his oh. flash, and he finally goes down to the collateral damage. <laughs> but it doesn't matter, Clement. JDG are still pushing mid. And like with the potential of Zika to actually chase in here, are BLG going to take it? Yagao is showing on the map, and it does look like BLG are charging forward, but they don't find the explosive cast, and they decide 
better on this play. Now it's Zoom's turn to charge in here. Zika is going to play a teleport into the back line, but it looks like it's a little bit too far. And once again, Zoom is surviving oh. for so goddamn loud. Wow, that was a great three-man taunt, but it doesn't matter. Zoom is still over 50% HP. Zika is going to come down. The Gork Drinker does come out, and he does stay alive for a little bit longer, but they do find the main carry kills. It's going to be a triple kill for Logan right here as he does fall down to Meteor. And finally, Yagawi is here to pick up the pieces. Can they actually find the ace? It does look like it's got, gonna be lights out for BLG as the Zanias does come down. Still, so, you know, that, that was just an amazing fight. What, what do you think that uh, went wrong right there? First of all, I, I still think it's just coming down to that same problem. You and me loves it. The coach would be like, guys, three minutes until Dragon, let's chill. It's okay because JD Gaming still pick up the dragon anyway. They're going to channel that straight into a team fight, and we see Zoom on the flank right here. Yagao's going to pop in, find that gold card onto Aiming. Aiming has to walk out of the team fight, and here comes Loken. But Loken's actually going to drop before Aiming does, and that's going to change the team fight into BLG's favor. They're chasing forward. Their AD carry is still very much alive right here. Zoom is the one that has to hold the fort down. He does pop the Gore Drinker, buys a lot of time, but Aiming is just has too much sustain to be taken down right there. Loken pulled the trigger, didn't find the target, and aiming is now going to shift this game back into BLG's favor. They're playing a 2v5, pushing down the mid lane, and what are JD Gaming trying to do right here? Clement, I'm actually speechless. I, there was no way that JDG should lose any fight. I guess the only way is if Loken... Huge for aiming, getting that infernal trigger and the sustain at the right moment, keeping himself alive. And as you said, this Baron is going to go over to uh, uh, to, to BLG. They're going to try and catch Yagao once more. He really has nowhere to run. He's caught between a rock and a hard place. And in this case, the hard place is going to be... Clement, they were 7k gold up on Soul Point with a 10 kill Kai'Sa. This game was done and dusted. It was done, but... Mistakes bringing BLG back into the game. They're going to keep going for this push. Yagao is still down for 30 seconds. So this is BLG's time to double down on the play and just look for the engage. Oh, BLG looks like they are trying to end the game just right here, right now. The explosive cast is up for Mark. Are they going to be able to find the target? A Lilting Lullaby hits four people on the roster. And JD Gaming are going to get engaged. 4v5 uh, in this situation. Kaisa does find the first kill, but Aiming is still very much alive. Zoom, however, going in, chunking down Aiming. This time, Loken is not going to fail a second time. He finds the assassination onto Aiming. Triple kill for Loken. And once again, the fates are reversed. Wow. <laughs> again, Clement, I'm kind of lost for words at the past few minutes of this game. Still, JDG realized, hey, if we play this stock and standard, if we don't send Loken in first, we let Zoom kind of absorb all the cooldowns. We let Kanavi do his job. We should win out. I wonder if JDG are just going to try and potentially push for the end. Mark does have Baron buff, but Mark might be dead. Yeah, Mark is definitely on the wrong side of the rift right here. He does get tacked up, and the stun goes down. Can the fat man escape? We were talking about it. It's not over until the fat man says so, but this time, I don't think the fat man has anything to say in this situation. He does get a good explosive cast, but Lima with an even better dark passage, and the slow goes down. However, wait a minute. He's still alive. I was about to end my sentence on Mark is going to go into the gray screen, but doesn't look like it. He's just going to waste more time oh away. Oh, my God. Oh, is he going to? Oh, please. No way. Mark is making this a very nice merry-go-round chase, but I think the story is finally going to end right here. I'm moving towards the play, and BLG are going to start this one. Very tense moments for both teams. Kanavi is getting zoned out away from the Dragon Pit, but Zoom is going to create space for him. He does find Mark, and the death sentence does go down. Zika comes in, and wait a minute, oh! Zika actually takes the Elder Dragon. Is this going to be a turnaround for BLG? Kanavi is so goddamn low. Zoom is backing out of the fight, and it does look JD Gaming are going to do a complete disengage, but the base is being tackled right now. Kanavi finally goes down. Biu Biu goes down as well, but BLG are going to win the front phase of this fight. It's going to come down to the base race. Can BLG actually finish off the members quick enough to go home and defend against the split push of the likes of Yagao? Zoom is popping hysteric stage. He's still so goddamn healthy. This is going to come down to the wire. No one is really coastal enough. Mark is coming oh. in, and... No, he can't save the base. You go with the 200 IQ play. Opposition, keep, keep me away from the Lucian, but settling on the Galio, I think this pick does make sense in the context of the conversation we just set up, where we're like, hey, we're going to have two very volatile. Now also doing his part, so BLG, 
gonna keep doubling down on their in intruistic strengths oh, as a team. Yagao's hit up right here. It does look like a 2v2 that's developing. Yagao does flash out, and good play by Kanavi. He's actually blocking all the shots. It's gonna be a one-for-one -one trade with Kanavi picking up the double buffs, and he's going in for more. He still has Yagao's a flash being targeted right here. He has no summoner, is knocked up against the wall, and he's gonna fall down. Zika takes two turret shots, but he's completely fine taking the hit for the team, and Meteor does find the kill onto that one. In the meantime, Biu Biu is getting that third ring proc by Zoom. He is very low on HP, and Zoom is actually gonna flash, uh, gonna go in for the kill right here. Biu Biu already expended his adaptable shield, uh, but Zoom is getting sandwiched here between Mark the support and the top lane in Biu Biu. A beautiful stun combo comes out, and Zoom did not see that coming. Low, but he should be completely safe right here. And JD Gaming are gonna take away the first Infernal Drake, right? Okay, Konami does take it. A little however, bit. Zoom is hanging around the play. The Destiny is being popped. The gate isn't being taken, however. And on the flip side, it is BLG that are trying to go in onto this one. They do find the likes of Zoom. He's gonna go down, and it looks like game one being replayed all over again. Zoom getting caught out amongst the trees. Loken is trying to rotate, but he's very much slow to the play, and Bubu is gonna find the stun for another kill. Loken finally comes in, but this is a 3v5. Our JD Gaming really get a chance this one. It's a three-man sleep, and they do find one kill in return. Kanavi isn't done just yet. He just popped his flash, and aiming is the one going in into the three-man, but he gets deleted instantly. Kanavi comes up huge with the pick, and how is this happening? JD Gaming, you're not supposed to be able to play these team fights where you don't have the numbers advantage, but they make it work regardless. What am I watching? JD Gaming come out of the 3v5. Bad that you got stomped by that one. That was a 3v5 play. I, I don't care whatever you say about BLG, but... With JD play with the Rift Herald, but... It quickly feels like this is going in the same direction. And look for the decisive play. In the LPL, we don't call that a coin flip. We call that pushing your advantage. And Zoom is definitely doing just that into the top side. He's going to take this 1v2. Kanavi is rotating in, but it's still going to be a 2v3 situation. Never mind, Zoom gets his first kill. Aiming is going in, but when it, Zoom finds the second kill, and Kanavi is in a pretty dangerous situation. However, help is coming for him. Aiming is knocked down and oh my God, how is Zoom doing this once again? He's just showcasing himself to be just the better player. The counter picks don't matter. The numbers don't matter. Zoom is gonna take you down regardless. And JD by their, uh, their like item spread. And aiming is definitely feeling the brunt of that damage. Mark actually misses the flash as he goes in. Really good play by Loken. He dashes out and he's gonna find the kill on the return as well. Biu Biu is caught in such a bad position. Aiming has to get his ass out of there as well. And Biu Biu caught behind enemy lines. Where can he actually go from this one? Destiny is gonna come in. They're not gonna let this kill get away. And it was a good attempt on the side of BLG, but unfortunately for them, they're a little bit too far behind. Amy's still trying to rush into the play. Ooh. They're trying to go for Kanavi, but a great condemn coming out from Loken actually stops it. And Lumao tries to keep Zika in play. Zika actually able to get out of that one. Trade one kill back. And this fight is still going. It's gonna be a 2v2. Amy goes in, but he doesn't have the damage anymore. Summoner's all down. Doesn't get the infernal trigger, and Zoom is gonna clean up that kill with the three mark. Yagao chancing into this fight. Kanavi is back in. There's nothing Meteor can do, and it definitely feels like Zika and Meteor are playing with a bit of tilt here, trying to find those return kills where I don't think they have any chance on these. Kanavi's gonna continue chasing as he does have the extra movement speed coming in. Does tack it again. Zoom is still chasing, gets the three proc, <laughs> and that's gonna be the extra movement. You have the Shirelias, you have the Camille, you want to run forward. Oh no, Mark is about to go down right here. Aiming pops the W to try and shield him from some damage. Doesn't really work out. One projectile is not gonna keep Mark alive. And he kind of dies out of nowhere. That's a lot of wave clear and engage potential. So Kanavi is just going to walk straight in, gets the sleep down, and they get the cleanse away from aiming. Amy's still ticking down on HP. Biu Biu, on the meantime, trying to find something on the back end of that. He really should pick his fights a little bit better because that did absolutely nothing. And Biu Biu just going to go down. Not one play. I just want to select correct right there. Really it's JD that, Gaming. That was a bit be taking up. I think you're right, though. I definitely think that play was worth 3k. You get the cleanse, you get the mid lane tower, you get the Drake, you get the bot as well. So gold in the favor of JD Gaming. We're going to see that Shirelia's battle song being popped, trying to find Loken. Loken's in a 4v1 situation. I don't think he's going to be able to get out of this one, but he's sure going to make it close. So BLG even a drop. JD Gaming are just going to take this one away. 
I wanted to believe coming. Oh, maybe they're split Ooh. for the Blood God now. Zika does have the Zanias right here. There's only three members on BLG. They do get away with the Flash and Burn. Just have to give this one away by the looks of it. Question mark coming out from Zoom. Not really understanding that play from Zika. We've seen this being done by Anian before. He was a 1v9 player on KT. He can be a 1v9 player in the LPL too. With the Destiny, can, can just arrive at the scene faster. Yeah, and again, we're already, again, we already have Soul for the side of JDG, Elder coming up in a few minutes. But JD Gaming, they're going to start the Baron up right here. They're in a massive advantage. It's going to be up to Meteor to hopefully get into the pit. Meteor is actually going to get knocked back by the likes of Lirimo, taken away by Showstopper. And this is going to be a massive sleep. Two people are slept up here. Mark is likely going to go down as Lirimo continues to chase him, does fall to Kanavi and the DOT damage. Zika goes down as well, and Biu Biu is con Continuing what they decided to do, but JDG can just keep pushing, potentially look for the base. That timer's still 20 seconds on Zika. JD Gaming with Yagao are coming back to make a statement. Of course, they always have slow starts to the seasons, but when they have their full rosters on, they look as good as always. Your top two best team in the LPL last year and in 2019 as well. They're going to be putting the finishing touches onto this one. Can BLG find a kill? Can they stave off this onslaught? There's still one cannon minion going in, and Zoom does find the stun lockup onto the likes of Mark. Mark does go down. It's going to be a 5v4 from here on out, and BLG are running for their fountain. They can't take up this damage. It's going to be a four-man sleep coming in from Kanavi as he just throws shade onto BLG as they hunker down in their own fountain. Nothing much that they can do. Zika still has some fight in him. He goes up. He gets a taunt, but it's too little too late. And congratulations to JD Gaming. They put a W next to their...